What do you consider to be body modification? This week's episode of the Fullness Podcast, if you haven't subscribed, is gonna be a good one. What do you consider to be body modification? Is it something like piercing your ears? What about tattoos? What about plastic surgery? What about microblading your eyebrows? There's so many things that can be really looked at as modifying our bodies. When we diet, technically, I think we're trying to modify our bodies for a purpose. A lot of the times the purpose is to fit into a dress or an event, a certain size pants, You know what I mean. My name is Tanya and I consider myself a mindful nutritionist because I'm a health professional who took holistic nutrition, but at the same time wanted to stop dieting and all of the calorie counting talk. So I decided to enroll in mindful eating training and here I am talking about it on the internet for menopausal women. I've spent many years dieting. I don't do that anymore. I wanna help you not do that anymore. So if you like my content here, please hit subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. On this current episode, I'm interviewing Mariana Den Hollander. She is an author of two books, The Heaviest Weight and The Heaviest Surgery. I've had her on the podcast before, but in this current episode, she's talking about all the after effects of her bariatric surgeries. Yes, she's gone through two and she's openly talking about some of the nutrition problems and body problems that she's experiencing for a surgery that she got only because she felt that her size was a hazard to her health. On the episode, she shares that she had normal blood pressure, normal blood sugar, all of those things but she felt that her body size was a disease. Mariana is now an advocate for all kinds of body sizes, and she wants to openly discuss the sequela of her surgery in case it helps others make their decisions. It's a long episode and it's a good one. I think this topic is a little bit controversial. And in fact, maybe plastic surgery in general is controversial. The pressure to change ourselves is great. And I think it gets greater as we age. It can feel hard accepting who you are, no matter your age and no matter your body size. So I think a conversation like this with Mariana is important to keep having. Find her on Instagram. She is awesome. So if you listen to the episode and you have any comments, please come back here. When it comes to a world that still values thinness, I think it's important to have this conversation. We all have things I think we'd like to change about ourselves. How much time do we spend focusing on the things we want to keep? That's all I've got this week. Any topics you'd like to hear on the Fullness Podcast, drop them below. And if you find these topics interesting, please stick around.